already shuffled in. We'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll see what's coming up for the present time. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Gemini, in the recent past, we got the Two of Pentacles, and it's with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Two of Pentacles, it could have been about two main issues at front in your mind. When you get this card, you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking is really not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles. So, you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order just to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation you may need to be more balanced, but you want to be sure that you're paying attention there also. Two of Pentacles. It's clarified by the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, you, you could have found that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should have been going well. You should have been feeling really good. And any projects that you have, they would have been moving right along. So you probably still had some regular moments of self-doubt, unfortunately. But this would have been a time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make clear where you stand to people because your thinking would have been clear and you were likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it also points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So Gemini, with these two cards paired together, Two of Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Wands. Well, it's actually it's actually showing that you were dealing with someone who was a juggler. Yeah, the Two, two of Pentacles, it can be known as a two-timer, a player, someone who's back and forth, in, in and out. So, yeah, I'm picking up that a lot of you Geminis, you dealt with someone that was a two-timer. They dealt with you and someone else, or you and other people. But you had feelings for this person, and you wanted to come out on top. You wanted to be the last man standing. You wanted to win this connection with this person. So, that's the recent past. Let's move on over, and let's see what we got coming up for the present time. Well, we got this Eight of Swords, and it's with the Nine of Swords. Wow, that's a lot of swords. So there's a lot of anxiety here. Now with the Eight of Swords, it's showing that you might start to hold yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you're wary, afraid of getting hurt by a new situation. Or it could be for no reason at all. Yeah, I say for no reason at all. Because if you look at the picture of the Eight of Swords, it's the card above the word present. You see how this man, he has these eight swords in front of him. He's kind of like caged himself in. But there's an opening right there in front of him. There's a fire that's coming towards him that's behind him. So this person could easily put one foot in front of the other and run. Okay, but, yeah, he's afraid to move. And it's, like I said, it's probably for no reason at all. So it's about thinking through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Now, it's with the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is about guarding against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at it. At whether or not any of it's under your own power or control. And try to lessen it. Or if things or other people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. Just try to lessen it. If this is the case, take a good look at it. And see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed. To make it more workable for you. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty really is. 
So like I said, um, Gemini, you got two anxiety cards here. Why, a lot of you are really worried, keyed up about something. Yeah, in a big way. Because there's two cards here. There's nine and eight swords. What is that? Seventeen swords here. Woo, I wouldn't want to be a lot of you. Gemini's. I did say Gemini, didn't I? I just got through with the Aries reading, so forgive me if I said Aries, but yeah, Gemini's. A lot of you are really bogged down and probably beating yourself up about something, but what I'm showing is that a lot of you are going to start to feel or you feel this way already. Like this nine and eight of swords. Now the nine of swords, you're going to hold yourself back. Because you're afraid to move forward in a connection. So it's going to cause you to feel like you're stuck in your head about them. Or about the connection. And then with the nine of swords, it's going to cause a lot of anxiety. And nightmares. Maybe some grief and depression. So yeah, be careful about that. Yeah, it sounds like it's sounds like it's a lot. Whatever you do, try not to stay stuck there. Get some help if you need it, because that's a lot of anxiety and a lot of being stuck in your head here. Yeah, I'm picking up that a lot of you are just because of um, what you dealt with in the recent past. This person that was a two timer that you had a lot of emotions for. You're just afraid to move forward with anything or with a new connection or with someone you're just kind of just standing there yeah you just you just you can't put one foot in front of the other because you're probably stuck on past hurt or how this person was in the recent past that you had so much emotions for because you wanted to win that connection in the recent past now keep in mind the recent past could have been a week ago two months ago, three months ago or more. So a lot of you are still dealing with the disappointment from this recent past experience. So I'm thinking that um, you're afraid to move forward, maybe with someone new, or someone coming towards you, or someone that um, wants to be with you. Yeah, you can't move. You're paralyzed and you're having... Nightmares about what happened with this person in the recent past repeating itself. You're afraid that that might happen again because they were two-timing you. They were a juggler. They didn't take the connection serious. So you don't want that to happen again. So now you're just, you got a lot of anxiety about moving forward with anyone. So, let's move on over and see what the challenge is. So, let's see. We got the Seven of Swords. And we got the Lovers. Seven of Swords can be about someone behaving with less than, less than ethical intentions. This can mean someone spying in on you or prying into your life. Yeah, and if you feel like uh, doing this to someone, just think twice because you know everyone deserves privacy. So, yeah, someone's spying, stalking you, watching you. Uh, somebody wants to know more. That's what the Seven of Swords is about. Behaving with less than ethical intentions. Now, it's with the Lover's Card. The Lover's Card is actually associated with the astrological sign Gemini the Twins. Now it's possible when you get this card you're feeling really ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. So it could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time, and that's either fear or love. So when you can, it's saying it's safe to choose love. So this will be a time 
that it usually means that love will be brought to you in big bold capital letters to the center stage of your life and this is either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one either way you're really happy so Gemini it looks like you got someone that's keeping tabs on you they're watching you and they see you as a soulmate or a twin flame or they see you as someone that they could fall in love with now if this is not someone doing this to you you could be doing this to someone stalking them watching them because you know they're your soulmate but you've got anxiety about moving forward with this person because of your past hurt and past experience but you know this person is a soulmate or a twin flame so you just watch them or are they you could go either way so let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is we got the five of pentacles and the three of swords now the five of pentacles it can be occurred about feeling less than secure now the important thing to do is to remember that there's always help available when you need it from forces seen and unseen you may start to feel alone but just know you have the capacity to change that so reach out you could feel like you're being left out in the cold as though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering but just realize that this is not the case do the best you can with what you have but the wise thing to do is that if you need help is to go out and ask for it because the help that you need it will come now it's paired with the three of swords which is showing an element of sorrow that's undeniable but what's on the flip side of this sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy so you want to allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up now so that you can move past it so this card can point to maybe a deep emotional issue that you need to address before you can actually move forward because if you deny any pain it will not make it go away so like I said make sure to allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up but don't wallow in it you do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time but however you're you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you so Gemini the outcome five of Pentacles clarified by three of swords so like I said you got this soulmate here or a twin flame I think you both know what you are to each other they probably know you're a soulmate or a twin flame and you probably know it too so they watch you or you watch them they stalk you or you stalk them you've got anxiety about moving forward with this person because of your past hurt uh, the past hurt could have been with them maybe they're the seven maybe they're the, the two of Pentacles maybe they're the one that put you through a, um, a third-party situation in the recent past or maybe this is someone new but you got a soulmate a twin flame here that you keep tabs on or they keep tabs on you so you just watch or they watch but nobody's moving forward <laughs> yeah you're not moving forward definitely yeah you're still kind of stuck in the past about some past grief or disappointment because you wanted to be the last man standing in the recent past of some relationship could have been with this soulmate so the outcome like I said you got this five of Pentacles and three of swords yeah you still don't move forward you just kind of watch you're afraid of being left out in the cold by this person yeah and you're afraid of heartbreak heartbreak so you might start to shut each other out or you might start to shut this person off and become closed off and guarded 
You may even sever ties with this person. Yeah, so the recent past has really, really got you kind of messed up there. So that's something that you got to get over so that you can move forward and have a, a healthy new relationship. Something you got to get over or either work on so that you can move forward with this person because it does look like there's a soulmate or a twin flame here. So good luck to you, Gemini. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. We'll all get through this. And, um, yeah. We'll all get through this. Just hang in there. It just seems like it's long and it's ongoing, right? So take care of yourselves. Stay strong. Please come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, which will be for October. October's reading. I'll post it in another four or five days. So I hope to see you. I hope you come back. So I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day. Take care.